Hi and welcome to Freedio Hub. Today we learn how can we use Wireshark in order to understand the information which is there in a packet capture. Now we are using the latest version of Wireshark as you can see it's version 4.4. Um, if you want you can download it from their website. Now this is a packet capture um, that we have and as you can see that there are 43 packets captured uh, for this specific file. Uh, this is just an example. We are trying to understand that uh, um, what information can we actually find out um, of this capture at the moment. Now if you'll to see on the top um, here we have time uh, of the capture then we have the source address, we have destination, the protocols, the length of file, information regarding the uh, packets whether it was a syn ACK or syn ACK, so we can find it over here further on top we have a filter so if for example we want to have the TCP communications only we'll type in here TCP and press enter so it would show us only TCP communications which took place on our uh, packet capture now if you want to reset it you'll have to press on this X button so it would cancel it and now you can see all packets um, which were captured now it's important to become familiar with the packet structure field size and packet data etc so if we would like to find the source um, of the browser IP address so in order to do that what we can do is that we'll have to click and find that what is the first pa uh, packet capture so this is our capture file over here and we want to get some details about that now since we are trying to resolve the source IP address uh, for the uh, browser so as you can see that under the source uh, for the first packet we have a complete uh, uh, name appearing instead of the IP address now if that's the case in your packet capture as well what you can do is that you can click on uh, uh, view and then click on name resolution and uh, here edit the uh, result name and then click on the name resolution preferences in this one you'll have to uncheck this thing apply and press ok now you can so, uh, see the source IP address of it so if we want to find the source IP address this is the source IP address which is 145.254.160.2 now, now likewise if we would like to find the destination address out of this packet the destination address is appearing here as uh, 65.28.228.223 now if we want to find the length so as you can see it's mentioned up here so if we want to find the length of it we can see that it is 62 over here now in next question for example if um, we want to know that what is the length of this header um, so in order to find the length of any header uh, by default it's 14 bytes um, but we'll have to find that uh, what's the actual length of the um, file length over here so to find the uh, length of the header first of all what we would do is that we'll select the first packet then here in the uh, middle part of Wireshark we'll have to click on ethernet and once you'll click on ethernet you can see that the ethernet size for that one is appearing here which is 14 bytes and it shows that the um, uh, the each pair of hexa, um, hexadecimal value in the lower frame in bytes is appearing as 14 bytes next is for example if we want to find the uh, length of the header so in order to find the uh, length of a header we'll have to click on the internet protocol over here and then if you'll notice we have the header length appearing here as 20 so header length is 20 for this one and if we would like to um, know the um, header length for our TCP so likewise we'll expand the TCP communication as you can see uh, TCP protocol and then we we'll look for the information in this area and if you'll see closely we have the header length mentioned over here which is 28 
So for our um, IP header, uh, the length of the head was uh, 20 bytes, whereas for the TCP header, the length is 28 over here. Now we'll try to see that how can we use the um, filter over here in order to filter the results and uh, try to get the uh, packets only um, that we want to investigate. So if I'll type in a command over here like IP address where IP address equal to the source address and IP address um, is equal to the destination address and TCP port is 3372 and uh, um, the TCP port equal 80 and press enter so it would filter the results and would show us only the results that we are interested in. Likewise, if uh, we would like to filter the results for TCP, so I'll press TCP and press enter. So now you can only see TCP and HTTP communications over here. Now, if you would like to see that um, what packet number is there where HTTP protocol is showing up. So if we can see in this one, this is this fourth packet where we can see the HTTP communication taking place. Now in the same information, we can even see the length, which is 533. And in HTTP packet, if we would like to uh, find the file that will be downloaded, we can see that it's download.html and if you would like to know the length of the IP header we'll click on the internet protocol for the same packet and we can see the header length for this one mentioned right over here which is 20 bytes so if you would like to find the TCP header length as well so we'll click on the same packet number four and we'll go to TCP control uh, protocol over here. And you can find the header length uh, here as well, which is uh, 20 bytes here, header length, which is 20 bytes as mentioned over here. Now we would like to explore some of the statistics of the conversations which are taking place over here. So in order to do that, we'll first uh, press on this cross button so that it's not filtering the results. So we have all the packets again, 43. Now in order to see the statistics about this one, um, we'll click on uh, statistics on top over here and we'll click on capture file properties. So in this one, you can see that there is lots of information uh, which is related to this packet. So if you would like to see the average packets which were captured per second, um, we can find the average packets captured per second as 1.4. And if you want to know the average packet size, it's mentioned over here as uh, 584. Uh, likewise, we have average bits per second, which is mentioned over here as 6604. So that's how we can find the information about the um, captured packet statistics over here. Now let's try to see some more things in the same capture file. So we'll explore another feature under statistics, which is called protocol hierarchy. Now we have a hierarchy of all different communications which took place on our network. So as you can see, there is information about different packets uh, divided by the communication and the packets uh, which were exchanged on the network, HTTP, uh, UDP, um, IPv4. So we can segregate and find the information related to that over here. Now let's try to see the packet length. So we'll click on statistics and then we'll click on packet lengths. Let's maximize it. So it's showing you the packet length, total number of packets were 43, average data which was exchanged, minimum value, maximum and rest of the things. So if we would like to find the common packet length in this category, so we can find that out of 43 packets, the common one is uh, 22 over here. So the packet length would be 4279. Uh, 
after that if we'll see that if any other uh, packet lens which were active was uh, 1280 to 2559 and it's mentioned over here likewise you can get the uh, percentages from here as well that how many packets were transferred under each uh, specific packet lens so now we'll uh, close this one and we'll try to find the statistics and then io graph and in this one we'll maximize it now as you can see it's showing us a graph over here and if we would like to um, find the um, uh, time that how much time elapsed during the conversation um, in number of seconds so um, you can see that it is ending here at 30. If you would like to find the uh, at what second did the peak of the traffic started so as you can count it's one two three four and then this is five seconds so it started over here so we can see that it is two seconds so we can see that at two seconds the um, we saw a peak in the overall statistics and then uh, if we want to know that at this time um, how many packets per second was the peak traffic so we can see that there were 10 packets over here so that's the main purpose of io graph now we'll close this one and we'll try to see a last thing which is under statistics and click on flow graph so it would open this window in front of you so if we want to find out the um, diagram of tcp ports which are involved the server used port 80 for sending and receiving the data so we'll have to look at TCP port where we can see AT and what port was used. So we can see that TCP port AT is over here. And if we can see the uh, port which was used was 3372. So um, that's the port which was used for that uh, specific communication. So that was a very short tutorial just to understand the basic uh, uh, packet capture um, that we have over here i hope it was helpful that's it for today thank you very much